Hello and welcome to a new video. Today, let's talk about weird movies. So, if you've been following my, uh, what you call it, the community tab, you will see that I rearranged my collection back there. Uh, so, I kind of rearranged that. It was a pain in the butt, but I got it a little bit rearranged. But today, I want to talk about weird movies. So, I have some movies in my collection that I considered kind of weird, um, not, not particularly very good or artsy movies. Uh, some are, some are not. So let's talk about that. If you have any weird movies that I don't own, because I, you know, I don't own every movie, uh, I do have one, so that would be like a honorary mention. I've seen the movie, but I don't own it, The Fountain. That is a very weird movie, very artsy, uh, very cool. There was another one, I don't remember the name of it, but it had similar um, graphics, similar effects, and it was about like the universe and the birth of the universe and stuff like that. So a weird movie, uh, but let's get to it. Let's talk about some of my weird movies, well, some of the movies that I consider weird. So here we are. That is, you know, just an overview. Let me know if you want to see a complete everything that I own. I have some Funko Pops that I'm trading and selling. Um, I'm not keeping those. I keep the ones for Queen. Um, I have some collectibles, Game of Thrones. I did an unboxing. So let's get to it. <clears throat> let's get to it. I already pulled them out a little bit. So the first one that I want to talk about, and everybody... It kind of agrees. Midsummer. Pretty weird movie. Uh, it, no. All right. Good thing it wasn't a steel book with my butterfinger. So Midsummer. It's a weird movie. Some people like it. Some people do not like it. I liked it. I don't want to do any spoilers. But if you have an opportunity to watch this movie, go ahead and watch it. Recommend it. This one is like the Spanish uh title version so this one's worth a lot of money that's not true uh, next one another one with a spanish title parasite absolutely and in spanish they call it parasites uh, so in english it's parasite in korean i have no clue what the translation would be maybe it's parasites maybe it's not a very weird movie it won a bunch of oscars it's the first time that a, a movie wins uh, foreign Oscar, best foreign film, and then best film and best direct. I mean, it's a lot of Oscars. So you know where you're getting into if you start watching this. It's a weird movie, so just be patient with that. It's an artsy movie, but it's really good. I like it. Maybe you don't, but that's one weird movie. Now, I bought this movie. I did an unboxing, and people kept telling me, watch this, watch this one. Uh, what's this one? Enter the Void. I had to look at the title because I don't remember the title in English. And if I say in Spanish, it's a mute thing. Very weird. Very long movie. I didn't even realize how long this movie was. Uh, 161 minutes. So that's, that's pretty long, you know? It's almost three hours. It's a long movie. And it talks about a lot of themes in this. One main thing is that one drug called DMT. I've heard a lot on YouTube with some YouTubers, you know, like under talking about this drug. And because I've had that prior knowledge of it because of those videos, I kind of right away understood what they were talking about, what the, the whole concept was. And I'm like, is that really what they're talking about? So it's talking about that one DMT thing. Um, very weird movie. Do I recommend it? I don't know. Yeah, sure. Watch it. Uh, just don't come back to me and say, hey, that movie sucked. But is it weird? Absolutely. This is one of the top ones right there. So these are in no particular order. I'm just going from however I have them in there. Um, this one, it's, a, it's, you know, this is a famous movie. You probably heard of this. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, whatever, however you say his name, I think I got it right, Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, something like that, but regardless, 
very good movie. You're going to probably have to watch it a couple times to understand it. Or you have to go read outside sources to understand this movie. But Donnie Darko. This is a extremely weird movie. When I first watched it, it was just a ride. It's a good movie. I liked it. But it's weird. It, it is absolutely weird. So how many is that? That's like four or five movies already. Um, here. One of the last... One of the last ones. Predestination. Not a lot of people have seen this movie. I'm not going to say anything about it because it will be just spoiler. <coughs> but go ahead and do yourself a favor. Go rent it. Go watch it. Go buy it. And sometimes they're cheap. This is a cheap one. So I don't think this got uh, too much attention. Yeah. This is a weird movie. Absolutely weird. Some time travel in it some weirdness in it yeah go go ahead and watch this one and if you've seen it please comment leave a comment about this one this is one of the weirdest ones in there the whole theme the whole concept of it that one's weird and the last one in no particular order obviously is this Ra Shomon. it's a good movie it's an old movie and it's a weird movie of, you just, I recommend, regardless, I recommend you watching this one. It is absolutely a weird movie, Rashomon from Akira Kurosawa. But well worth the freaking ride. So those are my top weird movies that I own in my collection. Of course, there's going to be some other ones like Suspiria. That was kind of weird. Overlord. But some of them are just, you know, on their own, a little bit weird, but not overly of course a lot of the horror movies are weird within itself but that's the whole point of those movies like brain damage and creep show and they're just weird in their own but that's the whole point but those are the ones that are just weird to me another weird one was willy wonka when i was growing up that to me was weird now grown up it's a little bit different so another theme that i'm going to touch later is that the thing I just talked about, when you were little, you watch the movie, once you grow up, how that perspective change. So, on today's video, it's just weird movies. Tell me what is your top weird movie of all time. Leave it in the comments so people can start looking at it, and we can start watching those weird movies that you like. So, that is it for today. Thank you very much. Don't forget...